It's very humbling and very moving for our little family. Uh, we're just so grateful for the support and prayers of people all across the United States, uh, for Donald Trump and for uh, our, our firm belief that we can make America great again. But I'm also, I'm also especially grateful to the people of Indiana today uh, who've given our family opportunities to serve uh, put us in a position where we may well have the opportunity to stand beside the next president of the United States and really bring real change to this country. And uh, I'm, I just would encourage every American who, who believes like we do that America can be stronger at home and abroad. America can be more prosperous, uh, that, that we can chart a future on our highest ideals, to take time today to vote and to join us in supporting Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. Who'd you vote for? I voted for Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States of America. And uh, let me also say on, on the home front, it gives me such confidence, it gives me such confidence to know uh, that uh, my Lieutenant Governor Eric Holcomb is standing to continue the great work here in the state of Indiana. And I encourage Hoosiers to support his candidacy as governor today with their vote. And, uh, and grateful to have someone like Todd Young willing to step forward and serve in what we hope will be a renewed Republican majority uh, in the United States Senate. With renewed Republican majorities in the House and in the Senate, I'm very confident uh, that a President Donald Trump uh, will have the partners that we need uh, to rebuild our military, revive our economy, uh, and set our nation on a pathway where we can once again have government as good as our people. So thank you very much. You We're uh, just you very, very you humbled to be here today. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.